when you, however you want to use it, she's forever doing something to help you. Man, you can just call her and say, Gene, can you do this for me? All right, amen. And she'll go for it. Gene, share with us that how God uses you to encourage people without trying to step in somebody else's lane. Well, I, I love what you said. I, I love the Lord. I love doing God's work. It don't matter if I'm a member of your church or not. If you call me, you will either be your worship leader or whatever, then I do. I don't preach. I don't try to teach. But I love encouraging people of God to continue the kingdom of God because it's so important because if we didn't have God in our life, we would be lost. I want to ask you one question. So do you think that it's, it, that it's very important to encourage uh, other sisters, uh, you just to hold that encouragement to yourself? No, it's very important. Why? Why do you think it's important? To because we need, I need you, you need me. We need each other. We go through different, different things in life. And what I may say to you, I may not think it will help you, but it may will. Mm -hmm. So when we go through things in life, and then, then God leads you who to share things with and who not to share things with. And so when you go through something you share with me, that gives me strength to go on. And I share with you, that encourage you. And sometimes, you know, just by looking at a person, like she said, you don't know my story. Yeah. So she said when you her praises, she she know her story. That's right. You know your story. Mm -hmm. So when your praises go up, blessings come down. Mm -hmm. So we give God the praise for what you brought us from. Yes. And where you want to take. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for you, Jean, so much. Because she's always available. Whenever Amen. you want to use her in the ministry, Jean is always there. Jean lives down the street from me. Um, we used to go to high school together. Uh, it's amazing how God has a way of bringing people back together mm -hmm. in the point in time. And um, Jean, uh, not too long ago, um, lost her husband. Uh, I want Jean to share with you that it's okay for you to do ministry uh, without a husband sometimes, is it? Not having your husband, how do you feel about just doing ministry sometimes without your husband being there? Well, it's always good to have a companion, mm -hmm. you know. It's always good to have a companion, but if God takes that com com your companion, you shouldn't stop serving the Lord. You know, you shouldn't stop, you know, reaching out, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, that'll make you strong mm -hmm. because you done been through. And then, so, it just keeps you strong up. You just want to continue to do the, the will of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So do you know that, that the uh, encourage, encouragement is a, uh, a gift in, in the body? I believe so. Mm -hmm. I, I believe it's a ministry all by itself, huh? Yeah, because God gave all us different ministries. Everybody want to call to preach or to teach, mm -hmm. and, you know, so. So you don't feel left out just because you, you do that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't feel left out. I just enjoy being amongst the saints of God, you know. I don't fall for anything, because God will know where to send you, and he'll know you who to share things with. So do you think a lot of times that when, when, when someone is coming in your, in your path uh, that God wants to utilize you to minister, do you think that God prepares you ahead of time to give that person some inspiring word? Yes. I do. Yes. If he sends that person to you, it comes with you. And you may not know. Mm -hmm. You may not know why mm -hmm. that person came. You may not know at that time, you know, that you was going to say this to that person. Mm -hmm. But it be God speaking through you. Amen. You know, if you just want, you want to know. But that's the will of the Lord. Amen. 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 So um, I thank you so much, Jean, for coming thank and sharing you. that with thank us concerning that it is a gift in Amen. the body of Christ to encourage someone else with the words of good. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Would you like to share your phone number? Maybe somebody may want to call just to just to, just to talk to you or just say, I just need to be encouraged. Well, right now. I'll share my phone number, but all of you, I like y'all keep me in your prayer because I always say to myself, I stay in my lane. I get, once you know your place, you stay in your place. You know, you don't try to go over in nobody else's lane. So I ask you just pray for me. My name is Sister Jean Johnson. I'm a member of New Forms Temple Andy Zion Church on Benefit Road, Chesapeake. 
My phone number is 757-421-0120. Thank you so much.